Hi there, this video is going to show you how to find the area and the perimeter of a triangle. Okay, let's start with perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a shape or an object. So if we had, let's just make up some numbers here. Let's say this is, uh, I don't know, six centimeters. And let's say this one here is four centimeters. And this one here, this side is three centimeters. If you were asked to find the perimeter of this, I would just say just add up all the sides. And that is the formula that you see here. Just add up A plus B plus C. If you look at this triangle up here, you're just adding up the sides. Okay? So the perimeter would be A plus B plus C. It doesn't really matter which one you call A, B, and C because this triangle is not labeled and you would just add up the sides. 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 4, 13 centimeters. That would be the perimeter of this triangle. Okay, it's, it's quick, pretty easy, right? Um, the area of a triangle, it's a little trickier um, because the area of a triangle, unlike the rectangle that I just did in a previous video, you're able to just count the squares inside the area and figure that out, but this isn't so easy. Someone came up with a really cool idea though. They took a, they took a rectangle, which is the video we just did, and if you take a rectangle, the area for a rectangle is just the length times the width. So um, let's say the length was six centimeters and the, the width here was, let's say, three centimeters. And let's say, let's turn this into a triangle, okay? So if you draw a line from here to here, we now have two triangles. So would you agree, would you agree with me that the area of this rectangle is just 6 times 3? If you've, wa if you've already watched that video, you know it's 6 times 3. But if I asked you, what's the area of this triangle right here? Not both of them, but just this one right here. Well, you could say, well, you just take 6 times 3 and you cut it in half because this is half of a rectangle. 6 times 3 is 18. Divide that by 2, you would get 9. So to find the area of a triangle, it really is similar to the area formula for a rectangle, except for you're going to be dividing by 2. Okay, so let's, let's get rid of that for now. I just wanted you to know where that came from, that idea of dividing by 2. So if you look at this formula right here, you'll see that the, for, the area formula says take the base times the height and divide by 2. So the base is our bottom here, this 6 centimeters, and the height is the distance from the base to the highest point on the triangle. So I'm just going to draw a dotted line, that's the way they often uh, record the height, and let's say they gave us the height, okay, let's say they said the, hei the height here is, um, let's say it is 2, 2 centimeters, I'm just making that up. It's probably not correct if you were to really measure all this, but um, let's just say it's two. So the way you would figure out um, the way you would figure out the area of this triangle is you start by writing the formula. Area is base times the height divided by two. So the base is six. Okay, I'm going to put it in brackets. The height is two, and we're going to divide by two. So our final answer would be 6 times 2 is 12, and on the bottom we're still dividing by 2. 12 divided by 2, it happens to work out really nicely. 6. And instead of just writing 6, it's 6 centimeters, and just like the, the video that I just did on rectangles, the area, when you're showing area with units like this, in this case centimeters, it could be any unit though, meters, inches, feet, anything, put a little 2 there and it'll it'll be said like this 6 centimeters squared that this little symbol here means we are talking about area it doesn't mean this 2 has to be done you don't have to do any math with this 2 right here it's just a symbol that tells us we're talking about area the area inside this triangle right here okay um I should quickly show you what happens if you get a triangle that looks like this. What if you get a triangle that looks like this? 
and then your teacher tells you to find the area. Let's say this base is still 6, and let's say this length way up here is even longer, it's 7. How would you know the height? Well, they would have to give you the height in this question, and it would be the distance from the top of this triangle all the way to where the base is, right about here. Okay, so this, this here would be our height. Let's say it's 3. So the area of this triangle suddenly would be, would be the base times the height divided by 2. Okay, 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2, you would get 9. Okay, 9 units, we don't really know the units, but don't forget the little 2. This is so important when finding the area. So that is the basics on how to find the area and the perimeter of a triangle. I hope that helped. Have a great day.